Hi. When I meet most women, by the time they're ready to talk to me about potentially coaching for business growth, they are at a state where they just don't know what to do anymore. Their brain feels really heavy and busy. Uh, they describe themselves as frazzled, scattered, definitely overwhelmed, sometimes exhausted, sometimes on the edge of burnout. And so one of the first things I often ask in a clarity call is, what do you want? And they most often don't know how to answer that question. And I really understand what that feels like. I remember when I was at that point in my first business where I had so much on my brain all the time, I didn't know what I wanted because I couldn't imagine anything being different than how it currently was. Hi, Jamie. And so what, when I ask a woman, what do you want? And she can't answer. I know that the first thing that she needs is clarity. And that's something that I help people get. And I wanted to share with you what some of the things are that jam up people. For example, if I'm working with a woman who wants to grow her business, she might be jammed up by having so many ideas. And, and the ideas are the fun part for her. So she doesn't want to like stop doing that because that's what like fills her up, but she might want to, you know, write a book and do a podcast and, and become a coach and, and also like be a teacher. And, you know, she might want to do a whole bunch of things with the expertise that she has because she really wants to help so many people. And that is very valid. Like there's many, many things we want to do, but we have to figure out like, well, what's the very first thing we want? And then like, what's the next thing we should do before we can decide on the next thing and how to prioritize we have to get clear. That is step number one. So I'm wondering, are you clear with what you want? And if you're not, what's in your way? It's probably that you're very busy, uh, that you have a very full calendar, that you have so many ideas swirling around your head. It's probably that you don't take time for yourself to empty out your head. So today I wanted to offer some strategies about how to get a little clear Jamie says, it sounds like me, girl, it sounds like you and everybody else that I meet. Uh, clarity is my jam. That's like my, my favorite thing to help somebody with. Although I will say it doesn't usually happen as quickly as somebody wants it to happen. If you want clarity, it requires you to have a practice and you have to attend to it very frequently. The first step is knowing that you're not clear. Like if I'm asking, what do you want? And your answer is, I don't know that's a good sign that you're not clear. And that's, that should be like a big red flag for you. Like, oh, I need to figure out what I want. What your brain wants to do is jump 55 steps ahead and say, oh, well, you can take care of this and you can take care of this and you can take care of this and get you like planning, like you're supposed to be in action to get clear. But that's not how clarity happens. Clarity happens when you stop. And actually, I just got off a call with my coach and she said to me, I haven't seen your energy this clear in a really long time. And she said, I know it's not because you're clearer in your business. She's like, you've always been clear in your business. She's like, you're just clear in every other way. And I will tell you that what the change I made was that I stopped working. Hi, Emily. It's nice to see you. Uh, I will stop working now when I used to work myself into 10, 12, 14 hour days. I've actually stopped doing so much and I accomplish so much more. So I have much more clarity because I know what to focus on every day, what's worth doing and what's not worth doing and I have strong boundaries. So let's talk about your clarity. What do you want? And if that question makes you panic, don't, don't panic because you can figure this out. So here are some strategies. You could do strategies that are alone kind of strategies. And if you are an introvert and you really have a very rich inner life, then these are perfect for you and they require you to stop and carve out some time. So one of the strategies to figure out what you want is to just be alone. And I don't mean for five minutes while you go pee, while your kids have their fingers underneath the bathroom door saying, where are you? I'm saying be alone, carve out like time to be alone. Because my guess is most of the women I talk to who don't know what they want, they are never, ever alone. And frankly, I think they're not alone because they're scared to be alone because of what they might realize. It's okay for other people to not have you around 24 hours a day. So be alone, that's the first thing. The second thing is when you are alone, what's the best way that you can get in touch with what's going on in your brain? Are you a, a physical person where you need to write it? Do you need to go for a walk or a run? Do you need to meditate and just be silent? Do you need to sing? What is it that you need to do 
when you are being alone so that you can learn what you want. And this doesn't happen in one session, my friend. This is a practice that you are going to engage. And then, of course, there's moving. There's looking for signs. Like um, for me, I'm always very interested when I see a same kind of bird over and over again or the same kind of butterfly over and over again because to me, that's a sign of something and I need to pay attention. So that's the first thing. If you don't know what you want, you have to start paying attention. So can you do that? And again, it doesn't need to be like three hours. How about you start with 10 minutes? How about you start with 15 minutes? How about then you go to a half an hour? Please stop making your life harder than it needs to be. But you do deserve to know what you want. The second thing is, of course, by being with other people. And if you're an extroverted person, then you know you get your energy from outside the world, outside of yourself. And so you might need to be, you know, go have coffee with somebody or even go to a coffee shop and be around other people's energy because that can help you figure out, out some things. So when you're with somebody, that's a great place to start talking about what you want. And the talking is important. Um, But the other thing is, you know, asking for help overtly. Like, I don't know what I want. I realized I don't know what I want and I need some help. Asking for help is very powerful. It is not weak. It is like the way that women who are successful and strong get better and more empowered. So asking for help. And then um, this person who you're talking to, they don't have to tell you what to do. They don't have to be the sage and they don't have to have advice for you. Sometimes you just saying something out loud And hearing yourself say it, I can't tell you how many times when I'm on a call with somebody, just having her say something out loud is very powerful for her. And then um, the other thing that can be helpful if you're talking to somebody is they mirror your words back to you. And I'll tell you what, when I'm on a discovery call with somebody or a breakthrough call, And I say, so what I'm hearing is blah, 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 blah. And I just say it right back to her. Maybe the words are a little bit different. She's like, oh my God, yes. I actually had this experience today with a, with a potential client who's uh, interested in learning more about how to work with me. And she said, I don't know what I want. That was her first thing. And then she told me everything she wanted. And when I said it back to her, I'm like, do you see that you already know what you want? You just haven't given yourself permission to receive it. So let's give you permission to receive. So you might need to receive what you want alone And you might need permission to receive what you want with somebody else. 90% of the people out there need help doing this. If you're one of the 10% who can do it on your own, this will be very helpful to you. If you're not, then you need to either ask for help or seek out somebody who can listen and, and mirror back to you what it is that you do want. And one little last secret, and I won't go into this deeply today, but um, have you thought about what you don't want? because that's very powerful. And if you kind of just say, I know that I don't want X, Y, and Z, then you start to like pull that apart. You're like, oh, maybe that means I want one, two, and three instead. So what do you want? Can you answer that question? If you can answer that question, I'd love to hear what your answer is. What do you want? And it just could be one little thing. I want to have, um, I want to stop working at three o'clock every day. I want to have a summer where I have time to myself. I want to have a summer where I take my family on vacation. I want to have a business that makes six figures. I want to have a business that doesn't suck the life out of my life. Like, what is it that you want? Drop that below. And then join me in person. I'm in Syracuse, July 17th. I'm doing a workshop called Stop Spinning and Grow Your Business. And it's perfect for you if you have a business or an idea and you want to grow your business and you've just felt really confused about what you want and how to get there. This is It's a $15 workshop. I will drop the link below. And it's designed specifically for women who want to take their business from here and all the ideas and the clutter and the muddle that's up here and, and make it real. So my name is Jen Liddy. I am a business development coach. If you like this content, come back tomorrow because I promised myself I would show up here 30 days in a row on video. Talk about a, that's what I wanted to do. So talk about a scary goal. I hope that you join me. Thanks for showing up. Bye.